Today, I'm going to tell you my big secret. In India, I went, I studied engineering in a remote college. After graduating, I wanted to study MBA at the most sophisticated institutions. I worked really hard and started getting calls from my dream institutions. The application process had a critical step where I had to participate in solo interviews and group discussions. All of them were in English. When I was participating in the sessions, my brain froze. I could not speak properly. It could be due to a head injury that I had or my inability to speak in English or a combination of both. Not surprisingly, I did not get selected by any of these programs. My brain freeze did not stop there. For the next seven years, it followed me into dozens of job interviews. And you can expect the result, rejection every time. To say that I was disheartened is an understatement, so much so that I would rather skip an interview than attend it. Fortunately, I had some caring friends, and they knew about me, and through their introductions, I would get jobs, one right here in Dallas, in a wireless industry. While I was in Dallas, I tried to still get into top schools. However, with experience being my teacher, I knew I have to do something different if I have to find a path to success. So I realized I need help. Again, fortunately, I had a friend who was working in a top marketing and communications firm, and with great empathy, she agreed to help me and give some communication tips that might help me. Or the next couple of months, she would give me some simple tips, and I would practice them. One of the interesting tips that I received was, when you are asked a question, don't answer it. Instead, take a couple of breaths, collect your thoughts, form a coherent answer, and answer it. As simple as these tips sound, they changed my life. My greatest weakness became my greatest strength. Interviewing became my superpower. I started getting selected in almost all jobs that I interviewed for, and I was picking and choosing which job I want to do. <laughs> It was surreal. Eventually, I ended up going to Harvard, studied liberal arts in management, participated in multiple public debates, all in English, and even managed to become vice president of student body twice. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, I, at the time, I was so grateful for the gifts that I received. I wanted to pass them on to help others the way I was helped. I started working with military veterans and people historically underrepresented in technology jobs. I began developing methods to convert the art of interviewing into a science. I started automating my interviewing skills using computer vision, artificial intelligence, so that I can help people achieve breakthroughs, similar to mine, in an objective fashion. My innovations touched thousands won multiple awards, including artificial intelligence from artificial intelligence for betterment of humanity in a global competition at MIT. Wow. <laughs> if you have to take away one thing today, know that you are not alone in sharing your weaknesses and your burdens. Ask for help and let the people who care about you help you recognize your personal breakthroughs, your own personal breakthrough. I did that, and I turned my greatest weakness into my greatest asset. You too, by following my approach, can convert your greatest weaknesses into your greatest assets to make this world a better place for yourself and make a difference in others. Namaste.